on, the war's mostly finished. Hold on a minute. Hang on, let's go back there then. Oh no, that's right. It's a Euro star. And it's the Euro fighter. The Euro star's a train, isn't it? Of course it is, idiot. You saw that, didn't you? I'm going to come and hit you now. <laughs> okay, he's worked on it hard. Uh, Tom, what's the reheat on the back? She's on the hover now almost, isn't it? Now let's watch the burn. Come on, ready? See the burn? Watch the reheat go. the back end which is not working back alive. Reed is on up to the sky hello God over the top brilliant did I get his skates on this ah. Ali, can you point it up so we can all take photographs of its red end hands together because we come here I've got my son here now Rob where's Lou Lou come here you come here come here, come here. your management goodness sake got a chair for you kid <laughs> this is Lou and my best boy Ladies, gentlemen and children you are watching a star here this man is here with his dad Mike this is him. Stand up, hold yourself. Oh, you're already doing that, right? Okay. Now this is called the addiction, right? And this chap you're watching is so gifted. He's so talented. He's brilliant. And we're so, so proud of him because he's British, you see. And he's been no less than five times the British aerobatic champion. He's that good. Uh, my freelance press reporter down there is taking this with me. Yeah, you are good. He's down there on the right, look. Now, this is Mike Williams out here with William. All right, William? That is him. And why the reason why William stands behind Mike is because Mike is holding his transmitter and he's sending out the signals to that radio in that aeroplane up there, right? Now, uh, Rod, Rod, and uh, this is Steve here, two of my colleagues. They're in the Croydon Club. And we're all friends here, we're Caterham and Croydon. Yeah. Croydon and Caterham. Now, these two are officials, right? They're making sure that you're all safe. If anything goes wrong, it's their fault. Right? Now, watch this, what he's doing, this lad, because he's got this aeroplane in there with this huge engine up front there look british champion no less than five times aerobatic champion and look what he's doing there children can you see he's actually holding the aeroplane up like a helicopter and it's called prop hanging now does he get a great big round of applause for that because you've never seen that done before have you wow what about that now that was called a, a prop hanger, all right? A propeller hanger, it's a prop hanger, all right? Okay. An American kit this, kit of parts, it goes up into that aeroplane, and it's got what we call a, a thrust 40cc engine in there. Powerful, isn't it? Now in your motor mower at home, you've got a motor and engine in there, there's 35 cc's in power. This has got a 40 cc engine in it. All right? Which way does it look? If you look in the cockpit there, you'll see that he hasn't got a pilot. Because he's trying to save weight. Everything that goes up in the air must be careful about how much it carries up there, you see. And this aeroplane of his is the aeroplane that he will win anything with. Look at the way he stops the radio, look. As I was saying, you see William behind Mike. If anything goes wrong with Mike, like we had a show a few weeks ago, where a pilot was flying his aeroplane and a wasp went unfortunately in his mouth. 
right? So the fella, he wasn't best pleased with this thing buzzing from ear to ear inside his gob, you know. So what he did was, the fella behind him, like William, he had to jump forward and take control of the aeroplane. Get the idea? And this is how they work. They're running on fuel, as you can hear. The engine going like this. He's got a throttle control on it. Got a very close area. That's flick snapping rolling, that's called. Now you can see why he's the British champion, can't you? I mean, he makes it talk, as we say in the business, you know. He really is phantasmagoric. And we love him the best. We're so proud of him. He's doing what we call flicks left and right, look. I hope my Rob bought a plane with it. Did you bring your plane? Oh, no. <laughs> He does everything. Shall we ask him to do something clever? Shall we ask him? Mike, can you show us what a loop is, please? Show us an inside loop. He goes now, what's this? When he comes round. All right, William, okay. Inside loop, like this. Right up in the sky, look. Right over the top. Are you bending your neck? Down he comes. That's what we call an inside loop. Now let's ask him to do something really, really clever. Let's ask him to show us how to do three rolls in the aeroplane. Three rolls. Okay, William, three rolls. Watch. There you go, look. Right, now we'll come back here. And we'll ask him to do rolls left and right. Give me a knowledge. William, copy. Left and right, look. Now we're going to ask him to go up in the air and do a stool turn high in the sky. Watch this, he comes across the middle. When he comes back this way, he's going to go up to the air and do a stool turn like this, watch. And over the top. Now he's going to show us what a chandelle is. Watch this, he goes along the flight line and peels off to the right, you watch. That's why he's British champion, you see. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Now what we're going to do is ask him to do another other interesting manoeuvre, which is called a bunt. And that means the pilot sitting on the outside of the aeroplane when it does its manoeuvres. Watch, a bunt this will be, watch. High in the sky. Now he's going to do an outside loop with the aeroplane going round like that Look, The pilot sitting outside. Now he's going to climb high up in the air and show us how an aeroplane spins. You watch this. They can do everything and more than a full-size aeroplane does. Look at that, children. Look at that, children. That's called a sycamore spin. Look at that. Now you imagine if you just had a dinner or a breakfast of bacon and eggs and sausages and tomatoes and did that in the air. It'd be good, wouldn't it? Make you want to hold your tummy in, wouldn't it? Now he's going to show us what we call knife edge flying. But he's changed his mind because he's coming into land. Because he's so thrilled with the applause that you all give him that when he lands his aeroplane, you're going to rock the ground and make some noise, right? Are you ready, children? Are you ready, children? Yeah! Now, come on, louder than that. We're in Caterham now. Are you ready, children? Yeah! That's what we like. Okay, well done. Here we go. The fortnight's time. Where are we at, Prof? Fortnight's time. Eva Castle, watch, coming down for a perfect landing, and you're going to make some noise when he actually stops. Ready, 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 and... Come on, come on! He won't speak to you. Uh, I mean, uh, he might even come on the flight line, we don't know about this, this gentleman, but, well, we think he's a gentleman, it might be a lady under there, but... Is it a gentleman? We don't know. Of course we don't. He walks like a lady. All oh, right. <laughs> walks like an angel. What's the landing on a greaser, that's called a greaser for the bus tank. I think that deserves a jolly good round of applause from all of you for that lovely TJ T. Scott. Thank you, chaps.
I love the way you present that visual. And the first class is flying. Oh, we got a good aerobatic. We got an aerobatic. Pilot now is going to take off and demonstrate. Are you ready, sir?
Well, come on. Give him a big round of applause. A stick. Well done. Easy, look. Easy, he says. Mr. Stick. Well done, Stick. Come on, give me one. Give me one. Come on. kindly bought these super Honda Dream stickers for us. And yesterday landed and he almost went straight to the end.